What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kennedy, and today's video is going to be a bit of an update on my hair. Um, if you're not new here, you know that some of the most popular videos on my channel were when I had my locks a couple years ago. And I still get comments, I still get messages on other platforms like Instagram or Twitter about my locks, like still asking me about my routine and everything. And... I don't know if people don't know, I haven't had my locks in over a year. So today I just got a little silk press and I just kind of want to check in um, in terms of my hair. Like I know my lock videos are what really helped grow this channel. So I definitely am still very appreciative of those videos. Um, but yeah, I still have my locks, you know, one day, who knows, I might put them back on my head. But as of right now, I'm trying something different. So. I cut my locks probably September or August or September of last year. So it's been a little bit over a year. Um, it's November, so I just got a little silk press just to have a bit of a length check. And I'm going to have some images from this time in 2021 compared to now just to really see how much my hair has grown in just a year. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of turning and we're gonna see where we're at with this lens check. <laughs> Yeah, guys, hopefully people will see this video and see that I don't have my locks anymore. But right now with my hair, since I completely almost started over when I cut my locks uh, over, over a year ago, right now the goal is just to keep some healthy hair. And I'm not going to be putting heat on my hair often, like I said, today's little blowout silk press just kind of get a length check um, to see where I'm at. I haven't had one since 2021 when I first cut my hair. So I've been thinking about starting like natural hair videos on my channel or whenever I'm, you know, in between these length checks, I've been doing a lot of protective styles. I want to maybe start doing some videos on protective styles that I've done to kind of help with my hair growth over a year because even today my hairdresser was like how in the world did your hair grow this much in a year and I basically told her I had braids and twists in my hair all summer because it's hot out it was hot outside like I'm not gonna be, you know, getting styles of heat just to go outside and let the sun just eat it up. So I had box braids, I had feed-in braids, I had stitch braids, I had passion twists, and my last style um, before I finally took out the braids and twists was a sew-in that I had around my birthday in September. But that was it. I just kept my hair braided up and just let it do what it do um i also took like just a regular like hair skin and nail um vitamin gummies that you can get at like walmart or any drugstore or whatever and whenever i first cut my hair she had actually colored it as well so that also helped me kind of measure the growth of my hair because i haven't colored it since so whatever is not blonde is the new growth from a year ago so as you can see, that's a pretty significant amount of new growth. Like all the dark roots coming in. And I think that's also another thing. I Whatever hair color I have on my hair now is just going to be it. I'm probably not going to put any more color on my hair. I don't want to say never, but probably for a while. Just because I don't want to introduce the possibility of any 
damage mixed with the heat that I put on my hair or anything like that. And it's also been a really good way to measure my hair growth. So if I do color my hair, it'll just put me back at square one. So I need to like start doing like, you know, any people who were like OG back in the day in the natural hair community used to remember those videos where they were like measure their hair on the back of their shirt. I Once I get a couple more inches, I can do that. But yeah, that's just pretty much an update with my length check. Um, my hair is like type four. So I figured it had grown a lot, but I never really could get a true length check without putting heat on it because as we know for type four hair is super kinky, super coily. So my shrinkage was real. Like I said, I still get messages about my locks. Guys, I don't have locks anymore. I'm so sorry to all the people who messaged me saying, why did you cut my, why did you cut your locks? I have a video on that from almost a, well, more than a year ago when I cut my locks explaining why I did it. Um, I can insert the link for that, but guys, the locks are gone, like off my head. I still have them in a bag, like I said. They're still in my bathroom in a plastic Ziploc bag. So one day I could be like T-Pain maybe and put them back on. But as of right now, I've been enjoying having like my loose hair and you know, a lot has changed. I haven't had locks. I had locks for five years. So plus the year when I cut it six years ago, natural hair community was way different than it is now. So me being natural now, I'm learning things that weren't even around back in 2015, 2015 when I first locked my hair. So that's seven years of things that I missed out on that I really want to try. So I, I'm not really going to apologize for cutting my locks because it's something that I chose to do. But I get it if y'all came to my channel for my locks and you're like, where, where they at? There are plenty of lock videos on my channel still that you can look back and reminisce on, guys. Sorry. But yeah, if you want to, I, I, I understand, you know, the locks make you want to leave. But if you are interested in sticking around for this new chapter in my life, I would really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> and don't be mad at me too much that I had to let the locks go. And I don't, I don't want this to also discourage people with locks to cut them off because I still love locks. I still see people with locks and I still think about mine and miss them, but I don't regret, you know, my decision with cutting my hair because, you know, we have moments like this a year later down the road and you get to see the progress so um, like I said I probably won't get another silk press until 2023 and then by then who knows where we'll be <laughs> but that is going to do it for today's video super short to the point hope you enjoyed it um, yeah let me know in the comments how you feel are you mad at me don't be mad heart wait how do you do it wait heart i did it <laughs> okay but yeah guys hope you all enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and as always i will definitely see you in the next one peace